Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play on my channel, The Sims 3 Late Night Part 1. And I am Plum Blobby, so if you don't know who I am, I just play The Sims here on YouTube and I love everything Sims. I love romance novels, coffee and chocolate. But without further ado, let's start this Let's Play. So I'll introduce you to our three Sims that will be in this little series. So first, let's start with Zoe. So this is her everyday wear. She is quite out there, outgoing and definitely extra. She does not give a crap about what you think or what you say. It's her way or the highway. And that's just how she flows. So Zoe Manson is star quality, which is a new trait with The Sims 3 Late Night. Your Sim will have an easier time impressing celebrities. Your Sim will gain more fame when befriending celebrities. And your Sim will have a higher chance to receive free items, which I love free items. Send them my way. She's also a party animal, a natural cook, a schmoozer, and she's charismatic. She likes the color lime and mac and cheese and R&B music and she is a Gemini. So this is her, just give you a little close up. Right now they are all quite terrified because of the vampire that they are living with. Um, <laughs> but we'll get to him shortly and her lifetime wish is to be living in a lifestyle of rich and famous. Reach celebrity star level five and be worth at least 100,000 simoleons. So basically, Zoe just wants to be rich and famous. She doesn't care how, she doesn't care what she has to do or who she has to trample to get it. She just wants that for herself and no one's getting in her way, so. That is her. She's also going to be our mixologist because I want her to eventually open her own club or bar. But like really I want her to open a club that's super exclusive to celebrities and it's just the talk of the town and everyone goes there every single night and it is the place to be. That's what I want for Zoe. So hopefully down the line we can achieve it. Next we have Jenna Tahini. <laughs> Don't ask about the names. Um, but yeah, Tahini, that's her last name. Don't know why. I I like Tahini, but I wasn't even eating her or anything with it while I was making her. I just thought, why not? <laughs> and we're here with it. So she's also star quality, clumsy, hopeless, romantic, artistic, and friendly. And she likes the color pink, cookies, and she likes country music. And she is a Sagittarius. So if I can try to show you her everyday wear, she just has little sandals on, some shorts, and a crop top that says Malibu. So the story for Jenna is she is from Appaloosa Plains. She is just like that small country girl. And that's what the, she thought her life was always going to be until she got the op opportunity to move to Bridgeport and now she is pursuing her dream of becoming a distinguished director. So reach level 10 in the film career directing branch. Instead of being an actress, I decided to do the director career because she is a hopeless romantic. She is a bit naive and innocent and she wants to make all these romance stories but on the big screen. And she kind of has this big dream about oh, coming to the city and making a big but she's going to realize along the way that the big city is full of scary people and dangerous scandals and all these bad stuff. Uh, it's not that amazing that's made out to be. So that's Jenna. <laughs> and now we have the vampire, um, the Klaus Carmichael. So if you know the name, obviously I changed the last name. It is meant to be Michaelson from the Vampire Diary series, but I just did Carmichael instead. I like it a lot more. So Nick Klaus, he is a flirty, irresistible, a smoozer, kleptomaniac, and ambitious. He likes the color black, and his favorite blood type is O positive, and he likes Latin music, and he is a cancer. 
so he is definitely dressed for business like he isn't here to mess around he's so fine though um but yeah he it does really wants to turn the town to drink from 20 sims and turn five into vampires i'm going to have him in the business career because he's definitely going to hold a lot of power he recently turned into a vampire only in the 1900s so he's only 100 years old if that makes sense <laughs> so he's definitely not an old old ancient vampire like some that are living in Bridgeport but he is definitely young and still you know figuring stuff out um but yeah he definitely wants to climb that branch and become CEO eventually maybe own a pet house in a better looking apartment because right now we are in this shabby apartment that's kind of in like the poorer part of the town I would say so yeah, we're definitely not in the best type of spot because like look the criminal career thing is right here um we have the, like the loading dock it's not the best place to be because downtown this is where like not the celebrities live but the better half of normal people i would guess but the celebrities they live over here on this hill in their mansions <laughs> and this is actually where Zoe plans on living eventually down the line but right now we are here with only 594 simoleons in our bank. Yeah I kind of went overboard with the furnishing. Not too bad though. Usually I do go overboard but for now this is definitely what they have and it will do. It's still a bare, mi bare minimum I can guess. Just decorated nicely okay. <laughs> so first thing you enter through the apartment. I'll just show you wars down. I think that's a lot easier. Usually I do tab mode but in apartments that's unspeakable you cannot do tab mode in apartments because your camera goes flying out the wazoo so you enter we just have like a little coat rack that you could put here then you enter through the little hallway where you have bookcases and a little stereo but the first room is zoe's room which i decided to do cheetah print um and definitely girly trying to embrace kind of like gossip girl she is all about brands, um, designer bags, fashion shows. She wants the newest and latest trends. That is Zoe. So I tried to incorporate that in her room. Um, it's really nothing special, but that's her. Next to the next to her is actually um, Jenna's room. I'm sorry, it's gonna take me some time to learn their names. Um, which is like polar opposite to Zoe's. Um, it is light bright and definitely um suits jenna a lot so this is her room it's nothing crazy then over here we just have the kitchen once again super simple super basic we have a bar for zoe to learn how to make drinks a little dining table and then we have the most tiniest living room um i have ever made because i doubt my sims will be sitting down watching tv um and then the bathroom which actually is my favorite <laughs> i love this room i like the green on the wall and the green like it's just i like it i know it's just a bathroom but it's actually my favorite room out of the entire apartment i know that's weird but i do really like it then over here is nick klaus's room so we have a photo of him when he was younger <laughs> before he turned into a vampire and of course his coffin um where he will have his slumber but yes that is their apartment so far and we are going to set out into the big world and get jobs unfortunately it is daytime so we better be fast with Niklaus so he doesn't burn up um where is the business office oh it's here okay um steve's business complex and restaurant who the heck is steve all right let's just join the business career and then we'll head back home so he doesn't burn up i need you to actually not join the business career but start making some drinks so we can become a mixologist um just start practicing making drinks sure and then jenna let's head out to the film 
place? Where is it? Um, it's just up the road. Awesome. So let's head here. Uh, Plum Blob pitches block black what? Black lot back lot. Okay, bro. Let's just head there. <clears throat> oh my god, and with late night came the subway system, which I feel like sometimes takes longer than just catching a taxi. So when we can, we will definitely get a car, but we definitely don't have the funds for that. Oh, and Jenna got trapped in the elevator doors. Oh my god. On your first day here. Welcome to the big city. <laughs> Welcome to the big city. Oh, that's gonna suck. <clears throat> Oh, oh, that was not a good drink. That was not a good drink. Oh, God. That must have been terrible. But I'm going to have her do this until she gets her first skill. And then we could do like a self-profession of being a mixologist. But during the night, I'm definitely going to have her moonlight at some bars. As a mixologist, you're going to just get some funds that way. Because we can definitely not afford a bar at this current time. Um, but Nick, alright, come on back home before you start to burn. He now works at the business career and he starts at 1pm. 1pm to 6pm. What are those times? That's so weird. 1pm. Is it because he's a vampire? I've never realised that. Okay, that's a bit odd. Um, but we are joining the film career as a background extra. Yes. Now let's come on home. Unfortunately, it is too early for any bars to be open. It's 10 a.m. So we're definitely going to wait until they do open because we are definitely going out and partying and enjoying our first night in Bridgeport because this is definitely a new territory for everyone. Bye. Let's see who our bosses are. So our boss is Tiara Angelista. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's already at level two of the celebrity skill. Okay. And our boss is Raphael Stryker. I like Raphael Stryker. Nick Klaus is like, good night. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Um, oh, okay. He's levitating. I've never actually played with vampires. So... This is actually something new to me. I mean, it's been a while since my Supernatural LP that I did. Um, so this is going to take some getting used to. Right, but what do we need for our job? Nothing. Okay. But I know eventually down the, night, down the line, we'll definitely need charisma. So why don't you start learning that? I mean, get your skill up while you can. Because... All right, Zoe has started the path that will make her a true chemist of the liquid world. True mixologists will be able to concord, concord, concur. I don't know what that word is. Liquids of incredible power from instilling romance to keeping you up all night. With practice, she can make quite a bit of cash moonlighting at various bars as well. Awesome. That's exactly what we want. Oh my god, some neighbors have welcomed us to the town. Okay, buzz in. I've never seen this. What? People are here to meet us? Is it just you? No. Oh, this girl's playing. Okay. She's playing drums for us. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, Why don't you come up and meet us? Okay, we're going to sell this university thing because um, we're not going to university. Thank you though, but no thanks. Also, let me put a lock on Nick Klaus's door because we definitely don't want any unwanted intruders. So, that's his own private place. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Right, but I'm going to have Jenna stop learning how to speak. <laughs> and why don't you go introduce yourself to Ebenezer Calvia, bro. Clavia, Clavia. Okay, why don't we? I just call you Eb. <laughs> Go introduce yourself to Eb. What is Eb doing? He's of course interested in Zoe. Everyone is. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> um, Zoe is the girl, you know, like she's definitely the one that steals everyone's attention. And she loves that. She loves attention, so. But let's have Jenna. She is shy, so. <gasps> he likes us. Okay. Let's get to know you a bit. Let's um, ask about his career. Let's find out what he does. He's in a tux, so it's definitely going to be something, you know, something that pays a bit well, I'm guessing, you know. Did the other girl come up? She did. Okay. I'm gonna have Nick Klaus, why don't you go say hi? Because Zoe is so close to level 2, so I might as well just let her just do that and then we'll, she can introduce herself as well. Oh, he's a magician, I think. He's good and artistic. Okay, why don't we ask if you're single? Very important. Um, ask your sign and then we'll ask your career. Find out what you do. You know, just to get you get to know you a bit more. Get to know. Oh, she likes him. Okay, well you definitely can be our first um what do you call it? Our first You could be our first a victim. I completely forgot what I was trying to say. So, are we thirsty? Like, we can probably drink from her. So, let's ask about her career. Alright, she got to level 2 of the mixology skill, which is pretty sweet. Zoe is starting to get the hang of this mixing thing. If she's brave enough, she might start moonlighting at a certain establishment with lower... Oh, okay. Um, with lower drinking quality standard. That might be a decent way to start making money. Awesome! Okay, they're just getting along. They're dancing. Look at them! Straight away, I think we found our new bestie because they're both party animals, so we definitely have a clubbing friend. <coughs> so, why don't we get to know her? Couple of them dancing. And then let's also get to know her. Oh, she likes us! Okay! She thinks we're hot. I mean, <laughs> thanks, but okay. Um, let's flatter her a bit. These two are really hitting it off. <clears throat> but we'll definitely be hitting the bar soon. I like how Niklaus is just reading. He's so antisocial. <laughs> He's so antisocial. He does want to flirt with someone though. All right, definitely tonight when we're at the club. Um, okay, I'm not reading that, but sure. Tell me more. <laughs> um, why don't we? We are so close to being friends. How is that even possible? Let's get to know him again, and maybe just tell him a funny story. But then we'll definitely head out, head out to the bar. Um, it is three forty, so. Everything opens at 5 p.m. Yuji's is open though. Um, maybe we'll just head there. Let's go here with Jenna and Niklaus. Alright, so he wants to have a drink. We can definitely do that. How is he feeling? Because I don't want him dying. Okay, he, ne he is thirsty. We might have to drink from someone soon. So that will definitely be our first thing we need to do. <clears throat> Alright, this is a Yuji's. Yuji's? I can't. I think. Alright, let's all head down to the floor. Basement one with Zoe and Jenna. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. What are we waiting for? Oh, oh. oh everyone's changing into their formal gear. Okay, I don't think this club's really like into formal attire, but like, okay. Why not? But as you can see, this is everyone's formal attire. I'll just show it off. Why not? So Zoe is in her lime green because she loves it. Really high pointing heels and she is ready to go. She looks fabulous. This is Nick Klaus in his tux. And we have Jenna back here in her cute little dress. 
I love it. Like, she's so simple. She's actually like the girl next door. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we'll lock that in because that's part of our goal that we want to accomplish. But how is the club down here? There are There is actually a few people. I was expecting no one. Okay, we've got Lenny Shutter, Odine Perry, and Caroline Custard. Unfortunately, no celebrities, but that is okay. First, let's order a drink for the group. Let's just get... What the heck is that? The Hemo Goblin Shooter. What the fudge is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> the Hemo... I don't know what that is, and I'm scared. Uh, let's grab a drink, grab a drink. Nice. All right. We're all having a drink together. Oh, my God. Oh, Jenna loves it. She really enjoys a drink. Can we moonlight? Oh, my God, we can. We are hungry, though, so we might just pick up some nachos. Jenna, how are you feeling? You need to use the bathroom, though, so why don't you do that? And then order some onion rings, and you are thirsty, so we need to find a victim. <laughs> Let's go to Caroline Custard, give her an introduction. Alright, let's give a friendly introduction. Hi! How you doing? Oh, she likes us. Okay, okay, we need to own her trousers before we can drink. So, let's boost about good looks. Um, let's... Oh, wait, is that about ourself? Oh, I thought we're, like, boosting her good looks. <gasps> no, don't walk away! Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. She is... Is she leaving? Okay, everyone just thinks we're attractive. I, I guess we, we just have that touch. You know what I mean? We just have that appeal. <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's be nice this time. And let's praise her. And then let's shuck a bra maybe a few times. But awesome! We're moonlighting. Drinks on the house, fifty-seven assimilians. Oh, but we don't have the funds for that, so we're definitely not doing that. <clears throat> but she's serving us some nachos, which is pretty sweet. We're doing this in our formal attire. That's uh, it definitely cost us a bit to wear that dress. So can't believe we're doing it in our formal attire. But okay, um. Oh, Jeffrey Cook is a celebrity. Okay, I'm definitely going to have Jenna just introduce herself. Oh, she's eating. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, great celebrity. What is, what is this? Inspired. Oh. Vampiric Vigor. The night fills you with energy as you are invigorated by the moon. Beams and starlight. Starlight night. Such power. Okay. Alright, but let's say hi. Imagine we drink from a celebrity. We turn you. Oh my god. <gasps> he wants to have another drink. Yeah, he definitely is getting thirsty, which sucks. Um, I don't know anything about Jeffrey Cook. Um, so I don't know what his occupation is. He's not our boss, so I don't think business. I'm gonna try political. Guessing by his outfit. Maybe? Wait, what? Zoe is now Poseidon. Zoe, what? Zoe's divine skills behind the bar will prevent him from ever making a bad drink again. Um, him? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> but, um, okay, wait, we are now a master mixologist? I'm sorry, I'm so confused. Wait, what? What did we do? We just started! To become deity of the liquid world, well, one must mix one total of drinks in their lifetime. Oh, now we'll never make a bad drink again. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And master mixologist, it's one thing to mix yummy beverages, but to actually serve them to customers takes certain kind of bravery. Master mixologists have, have served one or more drinks to other sims. Their familiarity with working with the bar means they'll earn more money when moonlighting. And have a better relationship with bar patrons? Already? Okay, that's pretty sweet. Damn, she's already moving up in the world. Okay. But we must have been correct about the political career because that's what he is in. So definitely charisma is a skill he will need for that career. And then let's do political again. 
No, I am invested in drinking from him so badly. Gave mixology advice, Jenna, really? What advice? Like, honestly. Um, why don't we talk to Susie Strummer? Why not? Give her a friendly introduction. Did we do it? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Um, let's just talk about Charisma again. Oh, probably gambling too, but we won't do that. <laughs> we won't go there. Let's do funny videos. Hopefully as a, you know, sense of humor. So many people are showing up here tonight. Oh my god. I've never seen this bar so many, so full of people. But awesome, we did it. He thinks we're an okay guy. I'm kind of impressed by you. We should hang out more. Awesome, and also we got our first star as a celebrity. Awesome, getting noticed around town is not the easiest thing to do, but Nicklaus managed to grab the foothold of stardom. Soon people will know Nicklaus Carmichael. With a persistent desire to get noticed, Nicklaus will no longer be a nobody. Instead, he's a fa fame leecher. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> All right, but let's be let's um, praise him. I feel like he's that type of guy. Definitely wants to hear good things about him. So we'll flatter. Oh my god, but that's paparazzi taking a photo. Probably Jeffrey's photo, but still. And Jenna is tired. She wants to call it a night. She's definitely not cut out for these um, these late nights and all that. <laughs> But, <clears throat> oh, someone's having a barbecue. Okay. <laughs> My window's open. This smells really nice. Um, let's just be funny. But, sweet. Zoe took in 41 simoleons by mixing drinks. Oh, what are we all reacting to? What? 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 What just happened? Oh, my God. He wet himself. Embarrassing. Oh, my God. But, why don't we go dance? Go here. A rocking dance. Why not? But everyone is starting to hit the end of the night. Like, it is starting to get a bit too much for everyone. And exhaustion is taking over. So, I just really want to... I just want drink. I just want drink. Let's see. Does a hypnotic gaze work? No, where's he going? Please don't leave. Please, let's just drink. Let's just drink. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna send the girls home. Oh, I did it wrong. Disband group. You two go home. Come on, come on, drink. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's using the bathroom. Oh my god. Um, debate politics. Like, come on, come on, come on. You are a vampire. You want, don't get tired. <laughs> and you don't start work until 1 pm, so you're fine. You can stay awake. Um, Jenna, when do you start work? Oh, 1 p.m. as well? Okay, everyone pretty much has pretty decent hours. Um, I'm going to have you quickly just go to City Hall before you go home and register as... Wait, you can't register as a mixologist? That's weird. Okay. Um, okay, so I guess you can just... Maybe just go without a career for now. That's fine. Oh, why can't we click on him? Wait, why can we not click on him? <laughs> but this will be pretty good um, having a... Why can't I click on you? I don't know why I can't click on him. But we're so thirsty. We need drink from someone. <laughs> we can't click on anyone. What is going on? Okay, let's just go home then. I don't know what is happening. It sucks, but okay, we'll just have to drink at home. I guess just refrigerated plasma instead of the real deal, which is fine. Right, but everyone just go upstairs and go straight to bed. Um, Zoe, oh, you need to use the bathroom. Do that quickly and then go to sleep. Jenna, go straight to sleep. You are exhausted. And I'm going to have... Vlad, just come up here and grab some plasma juice. 
all right everyone i am going to end the first part here so if you all enjoyed please leave a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment anything you like me see know or do and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in the next video of mine goodbye